Hello, this is a tutorial for UE Systems UltraTrend DMS6 of how to build a route. First, of course, we want to open up the UltraTrend DMS6 software, which I have open already. Whether there are routes already open here or you have everything closed, it does not matter. First thing we do to build a route is go to File. We click on the word File, and we have a few options here, and we're looking for New Plant. We click on New Plant. At this point, before we sit down to type this information in to the computer and build this route, best practice is walk the line where you're going to build the route. Look at all the places you want to make test points. Make sure they're accessible. Make sure you have the nomenclature and the name of those test points and the easy walking order for the person taking the route already written down, as well as the abbreviation for the nomenclature should already be written down, whether that's an Excel spreadsheet, whether you wrote it down on a piece of paper, it doesn't matter. At, by the time we get here, we want all of that figured out on a piece of paper. So all we're doing is data entry on the keyboard here. So we come to new plant, and the first thing that pops up, the window says, what's the plant name? Well, we're gonna name this UE Systems Production Line. That's the name of the plant. At this level, this could be your entire plant, but that would be a massive database underneath that. Um, this could be a building. This could be one line. Um, potato chip line one could be a plant. Corn chip line one could be a plant. Uh, pretzel line one could be a plant, um, or the whole building is the plant. It could be a floor, it doesn't matter. We really wanna think about the test point and building it backwards from the test point to the motor, to the machine, and then to the group of machines it's in. Typically not thinking of it as, okay, we are um, chip plant, and then let's break it down that way. We wanna go backwards, uh, otherwise we'll run out of room to build um, the plant with all the different, or the few levels we have here in the hierarchy, which you're about to see. So we named this plant UE Systems Production Line. And maybe underneath this, we have a uh, production line for the Ultra Pro 15,000, uh, production line, another whole route um, under the same plant, production line, Ultra Pro 10,000, and then one for the Ultra Pro 401 Grease Caddy. So we have a different route for each production line, but it could all be under one plant. So we'll hit OK, we named it UE Systems Production Line. Unlike UltraTrend DMS5 and the predecessors where you would actually say, okay, here's the name of the plant, this is the application I'm building it for, and start building it, the way DMS6 works is it says, hey, what's the name of your plant? We name it and if it'll produce that plant immediately. And once we open that, once it populates, you see that it goes ahead and gives you all the applications, but there are no routes underneath any of these. We will build those routes right now. So we're gonna build this for bearing. It's very simple to think about bearings. It's a stationary spot and it's something we trend on a regular basis. So I'm gonna highlight bearing. We're gonna build a bearing route um, for this example. Once I highlight bearing, I right click on that and a window pops up and I what I'm looking for is new group and new group by wizard. If you choose new group, it's gonna ask you line by line what you wanna name everything. So if I choose new group, it's gonna say, what do you wanna call the group? And then it'll create that. Then I have to right click on that and it says, what do you, want to uh, name the first machine or location, it'll create that. Then I right click on that and then I'll put the new machine location. Uh, then I'll right click on that and do the test point. So that's more for adding a test point or a machine to an existing route. What we really need right now because we're building a brand new route is new group by wizard. So I click new group by wizard. And so the group name, I think we'll build uh, the production line for the Ultra Probe 15,000. So I'll just name it Ultra Probe 15,000. Okay, now 
that's the name of the group or route. Route and group is the same thing. At this point, at, at this time, we need 400 test points or less per route or per group. Um, and really, that's a lot of test points. We want to keep that somewhere on average between 50 and 150 test points. So I've named the group 15,000. Notice the descriptor format. Descriptor is the number of characters we have to name the machine in the test point or the location in the test point. And we have up to 16 characters to name that. And then how do we break that up between the machine and the test point name? So this option is eight and eight. We're gonna name eight characters, and even a space counts as a character, eight characters for the machine name and eight characters for the test point. I could choose 13 and three. Sometimes machine names are longer and we can abbreviate test points like INB for inboard bearing or OTB for outboard bearing. And we can get away with that, pump, PIB, POB, and we're actually gonna use that. Um, but I'll leave it at the eight and eight format. Um, so, because it'll fit the way we're gonna do this one. Then below that, it says new location. And if you notice up here on the tabs, it says group and locations and points. Right now we are naming the group name and the actual machine and location names. Then we'll add the test points after that. So the first one, we're gonna keep it real simple for this. We'll name it motor one. And then I can tab down or just click in the box below it and name the second one motor two. And then motor three. And not to make this long, we'll just use three actual locations. Once I'm there, I do not hit OK, because it'll create that, and I'll have to right click on each one of these over here and add all the test points. What I want to hit or click on is points. Once I do points, we can start naming our test points. But the first thing it wants me to do is what is the machine or location? that I'm gonna name these test points for. So it has a drop down of what I just created, motor one. And then I right click in the box or tab over and I name that um, INB, inboard or inboard bearing. And then I can tab two times or click in the box, OTB, outboard bearing. And let's say there's a pump attached to this one. So I'm gonna name that PIB, tab, tab, and then POB. So I have inboard, outboard of the motor, pump inboard, pump outboard. And there, motor one and pump one is complete. Um, then I can come down to the next, I'm to the next machine, choose motor two, and basically do the same thing. Or if it has different test points, give it those different names. Um, and we'll continue on with the same nomenclature. This is a pretty simple setup. Um, and then I'm finally down to motor three. I choose motor three with the final test points. And I am literally almost finished building this route. So building the route in the software is usually not hard. It's finding out where all those test points are, what are we going to name them? Um, and it looks like I've missed one here. So I have inboard and I'll simply click up here and retype it. OTB, outboard, and then pump inboard, and then pump outboard. And I will double check before I hit OK. I have INB, OTB, and I double check everything. Because if anything is repeated under that one location, if I had two INBs, it will not let me create it. It looks like I have everything correct here, so I'll go ahead and hit OK, and it should create the route. And there we go. Let's look up here at the hierarchy, and we see under UE Systems production line, that's the plant level. Then we have bearing, the application level. Then we have the group or route level, Ultra Pro 15,000. I'll hit the plus sign, and you can right click on it and hit expand all if you'd like. You have the points currently in alarm statuses. Uh, which nothing's there right now because we don't have any readings, then motor one. And under motor one, we have INB, OTB, POB, and notice the record number automatically gets assigned to it. One, two, three, four on the record. Motor two, record five, six, seven, eight. And motor three is complete. 
So at this point, we would upload the route, go take the readings and download back for our baselines. Um, the route is built, but no readings are there yet. They will fall underneath each name, and there would be a plus sign once we start adding readings. All right, hope that helps. If you have any questions or any trouble, please contact us at UE Systems at 1-800-223-1325. And again, that is UE Systems, 1-800-223-1325.